Coney Island, a fabled name that conjures images of lapping surf, sandy beaches, ferris wheels, and old time magic. I'm Harry Hurt III, and I'm here on the Coney Island boardwalk to recapture some of that magic. I'm enrolled in a school where I'm going to learn a few tricks of the sideshow trade that defy modern science and the powers of mere mortals. And there are three kinds of acts that you'll find in the sideshow. Uh, there are the true freaks. My instructor is Todd Robbins, the dean of the Coney Island Sideshow School. He's been fascinated by sideshow lore since age 12, and he's studied under some of the old masters. And what is the magic here? Are these, these, are these tricks, or are these real? What is the, what's the deal? Well, I guess you could call them a trick if uh, you refer to like a triple somersault as a trick. Now, there's no deception to it. These things are based upon principles of physics and anatomy, and since most people slept through physics and anatomy, the secrets are safe. But there's nothing safe about sword swallowing, one of the most dangerous sideshow acts. Sideshows were a major form of entertainment in America during the first half of the 20th century. They were called ten and ones because you could catch ten acts under one roof. Sword swallowing is a sideshow staple. So is the human blockhead routine I'm about to learn. If it goes long and far enough back there, it goes right to the top of the throat. Oh. Basically, I'm going to stick a nail into my skull. It's very, very simple. It doesn't go up into the sinus. It goes straight back in the top of the throat. It's the nasal pharynx. Everyone thinks it goes in the sinus, it doesn't. It just, it goes straight back into the top. And that is now hitting the back of my throat. I feel my own throat tighten as Todd starts me off with a Q-tip. The idea here is to go straight back, not up. But firm. That looks good. That looks good. I'm not sure this is what Johnson & Johnson had in mind. <laughs> Things get more dangerous very soon when Todd hands out real nails. Uh, we're going to use a 16-penny nail. Big nails. Take one, Harry. Right, and, Select and, one of the nails. Get a good one there. Get a good nail. And I'm supposed to stick this in my nose? Yeah, that's like the, the toothpick. I just yeah, yeah, like the toothpick. But this is yeah. sharper than the, the Q-tip, isn't it? Well, yeah, but so are you, so don't worry. I'm dubious, but my fellow classmates are excited. I'm going to make my mother proud. And so you're just going to do one of the same thing and be very, very gentle as you just go straight what back. I do with the Q-tip. Yeah, yeah, and you'll actually find that that the this will may go in a little easier because it's it's smoother. What on earth is going through my mind here? There you go. That's going in very nice. That's going very nice. Other than a nail. You don't have to go all the way. Very nice. That's not bad, for, <laughs> right, for the first time? Yeah, that's not bad. How could you? Yeah. How about that? We go around the room so others can try. I'm going to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Donnie V is Todd's assistant and one of the professional performers here. He's been blockheading for 10 years. He takes it to another level. They can try. It's basically a hole in the bottom of <laughs> He's also handy with a chainsaw. After all that blockheading, it's time for a rest. And what better place to lie down than a bed of nails? The principles are pretty simple. There are so many points that will actually support you because the weight is distributed among all of the, the points of the nails. I give it a try, and to be honest, it's not that bad. Kind of comfy, actually. I'm doing great. I always, I, you know, I'm going to sleep like this from now on, I think. Then they make a sandwich out of me. And then you're going to put one foot there. There you go. Instead, there you go. Uh, Following my lead, one of my classmates goes all out. There you go. Yeah, so you just go lower yourself down. They're good, 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 good. Yeah. Right about his breastbone, the other one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Feels even better. Yeah. yeah. Now it's time to eat some fire. Uh, my name is uh, Johnny Sullivan. Uh, I'm a working stunt man. Fire eating is one of the, the reasons it's one of the skills I really want to pick up here. It's, you know, something I can put on the resume. You know, if somebody sees fire eating down there, they might say, hey, you know, I was thinking about that. The fire eating kit consists of a torch, camping fuel, and a lighter. 
you have to supply your own courage. It's got your name on it, Harry. This is a torch? That's a torch. Yeah, it's a very small torch. So keep it real close. Okay. Tilt your head back. Todd walks us through the technique. Open your mouth wide. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Put it in and close your mouth real quickly. Okay. It comes easy to some. Hold your breath. Put it in and close your mouth. Close your mouth. Keep it closed. Okay. You didn't say, you didn't say five. It's a rush, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But fire eating is not for everyone. To, uh, open your mouth wide. Take a deep breath. Put it in and close your mouth. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Close, close, close. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Okay, real quick. Okay. The torch is passed to me for a practice run. Lick up your mouth wide. You're going to put it in. Just do a dry run it now. Yeah, good. Quick, good. That's it. That's all there is to it. All right. Okay, so stick it in there. And then it's time to light up. Open your mouth wide, take a deep breath, put it in and close your mouth. Close your mouth, close your mouth. All right. Yeah. It is a fire. Harry ate fire. I'm feeling pretty pleased with myself, but Donnie V shows me there's a lot more to learn. You actually relit that from your mouth, didn't <laughs> that you? That is true, that is true. Maybe that's why his name is on the wall outside. Are these sideshow stunts skills you can use every day? Maybe not, but I can't wait for my next dinner party. I'm Harry Hurt III for the New York Times. Ah. <laughs>